I want to continue in 2 Corinthians chapter 6, please. So we've talked about being comforted, being courageous, having joy, uh, being patient in tribulations, now taking that same comfort that we received and now passing it out. And 2 Corinthians now brings it to the, a different level in chapter 6. And... I paused a moment when I started reading this, and we've read this before, but in this circumstance, there is a way of acting as sons and daughters of God to make sure that we represent our Father correctly. It's like when I tell my kids, the ones that have gone out in the world on their own, not into the world. They're still with, with God. They're believers. But I mean, just how we live our life in the world. And <clears throat> even with um, Hannah going off to college, it was a very simple thing. It wasn't a whole list of do's and don'ts. It was a simple statement. Remember who you represent. Because you represent two different things when you go out into the world. If you are a child, if you are uh, one of, well, definitely one of my kids, but if we're children... We represent our, our parents. Whether or not we are talking about on earth and how we treat and they know who they are, I know that when, I, when I'm out in the public, I represent three different things. I represent my own reputation. I re represent who I am to this church. And I represent who I am to God as a son. And the same goes for you. <clears throat> And so when I was looking at 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse, starting in verse 3, it gave us a good list of things of what to do or what not to do or how to live our life, but it really is one simple little statement. <clears throat> starting in verse 3, giving no offense to anything that the ministry be not blamed. It's we are not doing anything in our life to give someone a reason to either stumble in sin or to look at who, who you represent in an unhealthy life. The church, God the Father, your parents. It says, given no offense to anything that the ministry be not blamed, but in all things approving ourselves as the ministers of God. So in all things, we are proving, we are giving examples, we are representing, we are exhibiting, we are showing who we represent in our actions. And we should make sure our actions don't misrepresent our church, our parents, God the Father. Now, by no means are we all perfect in this. <clears throat> we all mess up. But when we mess up, it is coming to a point now, and we've always said it, but we've got to get our heart understanding that when we do misrepresent, we really need to get to repentance quickly. So here's the things. Giving no offense in anything, that the ministry be not blamed, but in all things approving ourselves as the ministers of God in our service, in much patience, in afflictions, in necessities, in distresses, in stripes, in imprisonments, in tumults, in labors, in watchings, in fastings, by pureness, by knowledge, by long suffering, by kindness, by the Holy Ghost, by love unfeigned, by the word of truth, by the power of God by the armor of righteousness on the right hand and on the left, by honor and dishonor, by evil report and good report, as deceivers and yet true, as unknown and yet well known, as dying and behold we live, as chastened and not killed, as sorrowful yet always rejoicing, as poor yet making many rich, as having nothing and yet possessing all things. This is how we should be 
a good representat- representative, there you go, of God the Father in every aspect and every circumstance of life and everything that we do. <clears throat> whether we're persecuted, oppressed, afflicted, whether we're rich or whether we're poor, whether we're loved or hated, whether there's truth, if we've been accused of something falsely, in all those things, every action that we do should not give an offense on someone else. I, I think back of Jesus being brought in before, you know, the, the um, I forgot the guy's name, Pilate. And all the things he was accused of, he just stood there. He didn't fight back. He didn't argue. He didn't give room for offense on any part. That's how we should be. Stephen was stoned, yet didn't give an offense, didn't argue, didn't fight it, didn't do something that brought a negative light towards God the Father. This is how we should act in tribulation. Not giving any reason for someone to look at who we are as believers, as a church, to have some kind of a sin issue, a stumble or whatever for us. That's a tough order because we are human. We're all, we make mistakes. But this is what we've been taught in any circumstance to represent who God the Father is. 